Hello again, Joe Moonlight Moolah. Uh, I just wanted to bring you a rare. Uh, it's been a couple months since I've actually stepped foot inside a store that will not be named right there. Um, and uh, uh, I decided to see if anything had changed since the last time I'd been in there. Uh, I was uh, getting a little frustrated with pricing. Um, and... Uh, my take home amount of products that I could resell and make a profit on was getting pretty slim. Um, I was uh, basically having to find what they were, their mistakes. Um, so uh, I will turn around here and show you a few things uh, and give my little tidbits about uh, my experience on uh, this Sunday, which was a new color day. So the green today was 50% off. Um, so it was the first day of the switch of colors that were 50% off in our stores. And uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. All right, so here is my uh, small haul from the store that shall not be named. And uh, yeah, so you can see went to our local Goodwill. Grand total of my today's purchase was, let's see if I can get it to focus, $43.92. Um, so full disclosure on that is that this item here, which are some uh, light up uh, RVs, motorhomes, um, is actually for my parents. They're RVers, um, which is you know great since they retired, they get to travel a lot. So, uh, yeah, so I paid a full price, $4.99. I just thought this would be cool for their RV when they're out and about, hanging out underneath the awning, uh, having these hanging from them. So, sometimes you got to splurge on your parents or your loved ones. Okay, so the total items that we got here, it looks like, is uh, six, seven, well, seven items if you count the two of the same. Um, and uh, so around $38 uh, spent. And uh, let me show you what I got. So first up, we have a, just a nice old hoodie, Burton hoodie. Um, it was green, and it was $9.99, half price. Uh, something I do on the tags. I'll write the date that I bought it, and I'll write what the price I paid. I circle it if uh, it's full price, or if it's half price, I write half next to it. So that way when um, I don't always list immediately, so this helps me remember when and when and how much I bought uh, spent on it. So, uh, yeah, so just a nice Burton hoodie. I thought with uh, snow season, winter coming up that uh, yeah, it would be a, a good pickup. We'll see. I've done decent with Burton stuff in the past, so hopefully that trend continues. And then next up, I've got two pretty much the same long sleeve. Let me dial you down a little bit. I got two long sleeve Columbia fleece sweatshirts, both in great shape, both big size. This is a 3XLT. I believe this one was a 2XL. Yep, 2XL. So 3XLT tall is really great. 2XL, even better, or just as bad, good. Um, pricing, both were, I believe, the same price and green tagged. Yep, $12.99. Right there, $12.99. And I paid half price, so six, what, six fifty? dollars Got a hair out there. About six fifty dollars each. Um, you know, fall and winter is coming. Um, I try to plan ahead for these things because, uh, yeah, I need, I need stuff to list. Uh, I got a huge death pile, don't get me wrong, but, um, we'll, we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> That's the, I'm trying to, I'm kind of squirreling up and getting my nuts hard or, you know, held for the winter. So, um, I don't have a long garage sale season. Um, we probably have, if I'm lucky, a month left. And, uh, yeah, so we'll be just kind of squirreling away stuff to be listing through the cold months. Um, but then next up, uh, I got a pair of 
Adidas golf shoes boost. Uh, pretty decent shape. Need a little love on the leather, but we'll get it looking great. All black usually is, goes pretty fast for me, faster than the whites. So, um, but I uh, paid. You can see inside of there. They were nineteen ninety nine. Let's see if I can get the shadow away here. Damn, that shadow is not playing nice. There we go. Come on. Nineteen ninety nine regular green tag was half price, so I paid nine ninety nine ninety nine for them. So hopefully I'll turn a good profit on those. This was a little gamble. Um, I sometimes. If I'm going to buy something that's a little more, I always say, a little more stock or standard, I want to buy it to where it pops. And this thing pops. This hot pink is uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty loud. So uh, I thought, well, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I do well with Asics, especially, and then barefoot type running shoe. Um, and these, if we get inside of here. I paid $6.99. I paid full price because it was blue tag. And um, comps looked so-so. I might get 30-ish. Um, in the mid-30s. 30 to 35 maybe. So, um, yeah. If I, you know, and I'm, I'm a part-time reseller, so I don't have to turn and burn stuff. If I want to sit and wait, I can. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll see, see what happens with them. My typical model is to price in the top three quarters, um, not not the highest price, but maybe a quarter down uh, price-wise. Um, leave it there for a while. I'll run promotions and uh, promoted uh, promoted listings. Um, I'll make a promotion of depending on the price of the sh anywhere, you know, ten percent off. But I always have best offer, and uh, that's just a model that uh, I try to have. All the options out there for a buyer to to get the the best deal and for me to still make a profit so um that is my model and it's not a model that needs to be for everyone but that's how i do it so and then last we got two of these brand new sealed um, these are pet safe four packs of water filters carbon filters and uh I paid full price, $1.99 each. Scanned them, and it uh, looks like they were selling about 10 bucks each. So uh, I'll probably lot them together, and, uh, you know, we'll see what I get for them. Hopefully you'll see it in a sold video right away. But, you know, people love their pets. So, uh, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So you saw my video here and just a small haul. Um, I spent about hour, hour and a half going through stuff. Um, and yeah, I wasn't, wasn't too happy about the, the pricing getting worse and worse. Uh, the opportunity is getting less and less. So, uh, you know, it's not a moment to cry and bitch about it and, you know, sit in the corner and just, uh, it's time to pivot and think of something new so uh, I will be making some thoughts in how I'm going to source this winter because garage sale season's almost over and uh, hopefully in the next few videos I will come up with uh, some solutions and share them with you um, but uh, in my neck of the woods in Oregon here I am tucked away I'm not in a main main city uh, I'm not terribly far uh, from the main cities so um, you know, I'm within 45 minutes of, uh, the airport, so, which is close to, close to, uh, the main city, Portland. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be coming up some, uh, alternative ideas than to just rely on thrift store hunting in my local area. Um, I still have one honey hole that provides pretty well for me. Uh, but it is not a, it's a small retail shop and they do not um, get the inventory uh, turnover that fast. So, um, 
it's about a twice a month place I can go. Um, but, uh, and it's not a huge store. It's a pretty small store. So, uh, we'll see what we can find otherwise. And, uh, I'll keep you updated. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave me a comment what you think I should do, uh, to source this winter. Um, love to hear from you. And, uh, again, thank you for watching. Share this video if you, uh, think it would be helpful for anybody else. And, uh, until next time, take care.